What's up YouTube family? Pete here with Green Dreams. It's another exciting day on the farm. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, commenting on my videos, and sharing. I really appreciate it. I also got some other exciting news for you today. This is our first video with our new Canon camera. So I, I got the same camera that Justin Rhodes has. We've had some uh, feedback on the complaints with the audio and I've listened to some of the videos myself and noticed that. So we've gone ahead and bit the bullet and bought a real camera so you should notice a, a difference in the quality of the images a difference in the quality of the sound here going forward also going to start to see some more of that drone footage we've been taking for you so this is an exciting time of year here in Florida right now and because of that it's lychee season so behind me I have a Mauritius lychee sitting and we're growing many different varieties of lychee here on Sand Hill Farm the most common ones are Brewster, Mauritius, Hakep there's a few other varieties that are fairly common here in the central region of Florida and lychees are really exciting and the most exciting part is the fruit. So this is the time of year where lychees kind of start to come into season for us here in Florida and we've actually had a little bit of a lousy lychee season this year due to the dry winter and also being so warm. So lychees do like a little bit of a chill in the winter time. You know these trees will take down to about 26 degrees especially once they're matured but they like that you know that 30 that 40 degree range to actually fruit properly so I'm gonna be planting more of these on the south side of the property in more of an exposed area this year this one is in more of a kind of dappled light situation you could see this young tender growth on the top so it's pushing some nice new growth right now and you know if you're in Florida you'll probably find these at the markets for anywhere from you know four to eight dollars so if this was a heavy lychee season you would definitely be seeing them more in that $4 range, but because they're more of a scarcity this year, I'm seeing them more in the $6 to $8 range. Lychees are undescribably delicious and sweet, and I'll show you the fruit kind of when I pop the top off here, just give you an idea what it looks like. So let me point this out for you real quick. When you prune a lychee tree, you actually want to prune the branch and take the fruit at the same time. So you can see, you know, when I got these from the market, they're cutting that whole tip off of there. That's allowing that fruit to last longer off of the branch. So it's kind of a, a double function. You're pruning the tree, you're harvesting the fruit at the same time. It works really well with lychees like that. So I'll show you the fruit, and it's this beautiful hard-shelled fruit. And what I like to do is I just crack this little top off of here like this, and you can see it's just kind of peeling off of there. It's nice and hard. This is a very small seeded variety, and what I do is now I just squeeze it right out of there. Mmm. The sweetness of these fruits are just undescribable, like I said, they're delicious. Very sweet like a mango, but definitely a different flavor. I look at them as a very juicy, extra sweet grape. As you can see, you know, this one has a really tiny seed. So these select varieties like this have been selected for these attributes of bigger fruit, smaller seed. I bought three different types yesterday. One of them had a seed that was about five times this size. So we can't wait to start getting lychees here on Sand Hill Farm. They're unbelievably delicious. I've actually eaten so many, I've made myself sick. So they're very sugary. Um, fun to grow, you know, plant something. Get out there and get something going in your food forest. 